Now we're going to take the uh, a driver, a square, a square driver, and, and use the screw that the brass T-handle coupler comes with. This screw is a little unique. It has on the, on the top of it a score mark. And that score mark creates a weakness in the screw, which allows us to, after we get it down to the main shaft of the wood, I can take a pair of needle nose pliers, I can take it like this, and I can break that right off. At least I've got something to help me, me drive it right into the wood. What I'm going to do is start this by hand. Get my drill. Okay, what we're looking for here is when we will, when we take and put this on, we want the top of that score mark to rest right at the very top of this of this um, handle right here, because again, we're going to have the wood going through. We want to make sure that it's down far enough that it's not going to, it'll still be able to clear the inside of this hole. I'm going to go down just a little bit farther. Okay, that should be good. Double check it. Yep, that should be just right. All right, now that I've got the screw down in place, we'll take a, a pair of needle nose pliers and Using one side, one side of those pliers to hold the, this end here, another one to help keep it from, from bending down, we'll take it and work that back and forth until we really, we are able to break off that mark, that score mark. Okay, there we go. Now by doing that, we're able to break that, that score mark off. Uh, the head off the screw right there, that score mark, and keeping that, that screw good and sturdy. Now what we want to do is assemble our parts together. So we have, we put our handle in place, and notice that we went up at least about halfway up on the, on the top of this, and that's going to sit down inside of the, the wood here. So now we take our handle, line up the hole on there, so again I've got the hole lined up right here, and now I can take that and screw it right down in place. Um, for a permanent, today, I didn't, do the, I didn't use the epoxy yet, but a lot of times people will take, for the permanent, for the permanent uh, bond to it, they'll take a little bit of epoxy and put that in there. 